My name is Jordan Pryor. I rap, I act, and I, I, I dabble in writing a little bit. The first time I ever rapped my, my own thing was maybe in the sixth grade. I still wasn't big on rapping, but my friends had a band and they were trying to be like the next Linkin Park where they inquired rap and some like rock. One thing, I don't know why, it doesn't even matter how hard you try. My friends were like, gosh, you know, our band's pretty cool, but we want to do like some hip hop. And I was like, I can rap. Yeah, pretty much lying, saying I could. I then forced myself to <laughs> write some stuff and be able to. And uh, so I was the rapper for, <laughs> rapper for them. And uh, you know, for sixth graders, we weren't half bad. <laughs> Uh, that was whenever I first rapped, whenever I really started getting into it was in 7th grade because that was how I'd get my feelings out from uh, all the issues and crap that I went through in 7th grade. Rapping feeds his soul and so for me that's all I'm asking for. I think any outlet that he has as far as showing his creativity is always a good thing so as long as he keeps doing that I think he'll be happy. My mom was a little skeptical about rapping at first because she didn't know what I was rapping about and you know, there's always that that uh, radio stereotype, you know, money, hoes, and swag, you know, pretty much. It was quite a while ago. Um, he used to kind of wrap up here in his room, um, and he didn't really perform for us, so I didn't get to really hear it. I could just hear bits and pieces. Um, I think he kind of wanted to perfect it a little more, and then he would say, hey, let me show you what I've got. And just, you know, kind of perform for us. But once she realized that I was rapping clean, she was fine with it. And then whenever I decided, hey, I want to become a Christian rapper instead of just a clean rapper, then she was really like, yeah. Um, <laughs> so once I started becoming an actual Christian rapper, then she really started supporting me then with my rapping. I'm not a fan of rap. <laughs> I do enjoy Christian rap. I'm okay with that. And so when he clarified that he was going to do Christian rap, I was fine with it because it's, it has a positive message. And, um, you know, it's, it's like it, it, being a hobby is an outlet for people. So I could appreciate almost like, um, you know, preachers preach, teachers teach. He puts it into his messages in a, in a rap. It's a way that he can put his expressions out on paper and then, you know, show the world what's going on in his heart. Beginning of this year, I thought that uh, I needed to quit rapping because it was like me holding on to the past. But then I realized that it's still, I still use it as an outlet a lot. So I plan to continue to keep rapping. If I hadn't started rapping, honestly, uh, I mean, that was my outlet for everything. Whenever I got bullied, whenever I was suicidal, I wouldn't necessarily say I wouldn't be around still, but I would definitely venture to say that I would not be the person that I am today. I would not be, you know, as outgoing or strong-willed. During the audition, I screwed up a little bit and I was really worried because there was actually I think two other rappers, one or two other rappers, they were auditioning as well, so I was like, oh crap, I just messed up. What if they take these guys over me? Luckily, my audition was just good enough for me to get in. suicidal more than once made me question the realism of my faith but his attempts at killing me I noticed how great the acts were this year this year's acts were way better than last year's no offense last year's acts you know I decided hey I need to add a little something to my act because I knew just rapping wouldn't get me there So I threw in some dancing. Uh, I danced whenever I, the hook was playing in the background. The troubles, the troubles that I've seen all through my life. I 
Kenzie?
got a good crowd reaction off of that. I was a really good crowd reaction. I was excited about that because I was afraid, you know, that if I started dancing, that people would be like, ah, we've seen better. <laughs> you know, I, I'm no Jabberwocky by any means. After the show, a lot of people came up to me. It was like, your lyrics were amazing. They really touched me, you know, because my song was about my struggles in life, you know, being bullied, being suicidal, you know, trying to get public acceptance while still, you know, finding self enjoyment in life. You know, a lot of things that a lot of people struggle with. And, you know, wrapping it all up in Christ, you know, it was a big step trying to rap about religion. People who weren't believers came up to me and said, hey, I'm not a Christian, but what you said was amazing. And so, I think I influenced a lot of people that night, and even though I didn't win, I think I was the most influential, like, words-wise. I'm the really weird one in my family. <laughs> like, my mom was into uh, photography and yearbook and all that stuff, and then my dad and my sister were both into sports, and like all that kind of stuff tracks back multiple years. And I was just the random little kid that popped out and was like, "Hey, I'm gonna start acting." Uh, and I guess whenever I really started getting excited about acting was maybe fourth grade because we had a play and I had the second biggest part. I had the biggest male part and I was like, yeah, I was like, just sign me today. I'm the best actor ever. I was terrible. <laughs> he wanted to enroll in theater and we were fine with that because he's such a ham <laughs> and, uh, you know, was never embarrassed to, you know, do things or say things in front of other people or, you know, so we thought, hey, you know, another outlet and uh, been very impressed with what we've seen so far. I had already been in Mr. G's uh, introduction to filming class, and you know, I was like, oh, this is, this is kind of cool. And we started filming, and I realized how much I enjoyed uh, being on camera. And I mean, whenever I was younger, I used to make like YouTube videos, but it wasn't like short films. It wasn't high quality, good films. And uh, starting in ninth grade, I was like, hey, I, I could really get into this. I think he's a great actor. That moment was about a soldier in the heat of battle. Uh, and one of the guys in his company is running along with him through the forest and his friend gets shot. And as his friend is being pulled away by the medic, the main character, me, gets shot at as well. And his life uh, begins to flash before his eyes and it's this big flashback of how, like the events that led up to this point in time, like his high school relationships, you know, choices that he made uh, after graduation, you know, seeing the actual army recruiters and going, hey, this might be something I could get into, uh, talking to veterans and all that stuff. You really don't know if he makes it out or not at the end, it's kind of a cliffhanger, so it was, it was well done. Patronus, actually, I wrote and directed that one. Patronus is about a high school girl, she, uh, you know, she's just your typical, kind of popular high school teen. Uh, and she goes to a party because her love interest, I guess you could say, is going in and he invited her. And whenever she's there, another guy sees her. And the other guy is me, sadly. Um, and 
this other guy, his name's Tyrone, he rapes her. And, and so then it shows like the events after her rape. Everyone thinks that she had like consensual sex, not actual rape. So she's being called a whore, you know, trashy, slutty, all that kind of stuff. And then she finds out she's pregnant. Her love interest wants nothing to do with her. Uh, and she becomes suicidal. Well, throughout the film, we see a guardian angel looking over her, kind of not necessarily protecting, but being comforting to her. And in the end, uh, the angel meets up with her. No words are exchanged, but she doesn't kill herself. So the angel was successful, obviously. The dream is just to make a difference. Uh, you know, whether if it's through rapping, acting, you know, writing films, whatever. I want to make a difference in the world somehow, you know. I mean, if it's rapping, then I want to be, you know, a good, wholesome rapper, not one of these guys that's like, oh, money, swag, hoes, you know. Uh, if it's acting, then, you know, I'd like to recreate movies that have meaning, you know, whether it be things that society doesn't necessarily not want to see, but something that they need to see. You know, like, let's say, there's a lot of soldiers that have PTSD, uh, post-traumatic stress disorder. I mean, if I could be in a film like that, I think that, that would really bring awareness to, hey, this is a real issue, we need to try and fix it. Uh, and if it's writing, then the same thing, you know, write about that kind of stuff. And uh, even if I'm in a film that's not quite like that, even if I'm in a comedy, then the money that I make from that comedy then I would send to a charity like that. Life has a way of, of working itself out into wherever you're supposed to be or whatever you're supposed to do. He enjoys doing it so much and um, he, I mean, he is so entertaining so you know we appreciate what he's doing now in high school. You know I, I used to try and spend my life trying to impress people and I've you know I was miserable back then and now I just do what I want to do. I rap what I want to rap about. I dance how I want to dance, you know, I don't do a certain form of it. I act the way I want to act. I have my own set of friends. Just be who you are. Don't be who someone else wants you to be.